64 gets kind of buggy with a cradle modem that, uh, you, you, well, it's all very technical. And now, back to the back to the back to the big dumb fun show. We are back on the big dumb fun show. You can check us out online at bigdumbfunshow.com. We, of course, got the Facebook, the MySpace, the Twitter. Put in the dot com, the slash Big Dumb Fun Show. Give us a call. We are available on the phone Monday, 7 to 10 p.m. 888-832. All of our uh, technical issues uh, should be completely solved, completely solved right now because I got the red microphone windscreen going on, the big clown nose windscreen. I'm, I'm rocking now on the on the mic, so everything should be A-OK. I, I'm super confident this will solve all of our problems. Uh, let's try to get you, our army of in between on. So. Uh, are they on the phone right now? Can we try to get them on the phone? Let's dial them up. Like I said, uh, and I, I listened to I listened to some of their stuff, and I think Borg meets uh, a rock band is uh, is a, it's a decent comparison uh, for army of in between. And uh, they're they're actually out of Omaha. We're going to be calling up to the uh, the Council Bluffs Omaha area right now. If we can get that to work, that'd be great. Let's see if we can talk to Pitt. One ringy dingy. Actually, that's three ringy dingy. Three ringy dingy. I was gonna say you don't know how to count. I, you know what? I don't know how to count. So thanks for bringing that up. Hello. 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 Is this Pitt? This is Pitt. Pitt, what's going on? It's Jeff from the Big Dumb Fun Show. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are Are you busy right now? You got a little time to talk, or are you on the you on the toilet, or? Here, all three of us. Oh, everyone. Uh, so, uh, Pitt, uh, is it Darcy and uh, Halbut? That's Dark and Halbgott. Okay, well, you can obviously, I, I can't read either. I can't, yeah. count, I can't count nor read. So, uh, well, Pitt welcome Dark, to the show. Pitt, Dark, and Halbot. Now, uh, do you. Do Army you, of In Between. Do you agree uh, with, with, with the uh, the Borg Rock uh, connection or so? Because you, uh, you, guys, you guys have, uh, I mean, damn. We listened to we listened to some of your stuff already, and uh, you know I was uh, trying to make that. Com- was it like uh, I guess like a, like a techno rock, a lot of like computer based elements uh, into your your mix? Uh, is that something that's uh, like kind of like a homegrown type deal? Is it something that you guys come up with all together, or is it the thing where you have an idea and, and you send it off to a producer? Is this something that you can uh, duplicate uh, in in a live atmosphere as well? Yes, we we create our music with the. We use a keyboard, and uh, we, we make our drums on a computer as well. Uh, we do add guitars and uh, vocals in a studio. Now, you're based out of Omaha. How does the Omaha fan base feel about Army of In-Between? Um, honestly, I don't know how Omaha feels about Army of In-Between. Um, we, we play as much as we can. It is pretty costly. So whenever we play, we, we do our best to promote our shows and uh, hope to see as many people there as possible. Well, did you have a good response from Kansas City? You were here uh, about a month ago. About was it? Uh, it was like about the Halloween uh, time or so when you were actually in KC with Mandy Lyon. Am I right? That's correct. And so, uh, were you well received in Kansas City? Um, I. I when we played Kansas City, we played a small bar, and uh, I mean the place was pretty full of people for its size. But uh, I'd say there were probably like I don't know 50 people there. I I, I think that if uh, we when we come back to Kansas City, that it'll be a much bigger show, and we're hoping to see a lot of faces. Yeah, I mean, uh, so do you have a date planned yet where you're going to be coming back? Because I would love to get you guys in studio. Um. We don't currently have a date when we're coming back, but we hope to show up sometime by spring or summer. That's cool. And you're not that far away. You're just uh, you're just a couple hours away in Omaha. Yes. Now you've got a couple different sites. You've got your website, which is tell us the fans that. Yeah, that's facebook.com slash army of in between. And you've also got the myspace dot com slash army of in between, twitter dot com slash army of in between. ReverbNation.com slash Army of In Between. Yes. Now, if you, and, uh, we, we have many sites uh, because they're 
there's lots of different people that use uh, their sources on the internet differently, and we want to make sure that we're available for everyone. No, I agree, and we're the same way because uh, you know every once in a while you still have some somebody out there still using MySpace. Somebody is. Yeah, they're it's, still it's, selling it's ads. Tom in the porn in the in the porn bot. Tom and the gang, you still using MySpace? So it's like you almost have to have that MySpace. We were actually checking uh, checking our stuff uh, a little while ago, and. Uh, our our MySpace uh, uh, images and, and and all that good stuff. People still hitting it, so it's almost like you have to have the people that are checking your MySpace. You have to be on the Twitter. You got to you know just anything that you can do. And uh, and I and, you know being uh, just a local band is not just being a local band anymore. You're you're local everywhere. Um, so I guess you know especially with what you guys are doing. Um, it's it's almost got uh, like a a coastal feel to it. Not you would not think. Oh, I'm listening to Army of In Between. I can tell. I I can I can tell they're out of Omaha. Like you you have a, a wide a wide audience that that you need to reach and and you got to do it every uh, every avenue possible because yeah you can't be in L A. you know on a on a moment's notice. But uh, um, but I guess more importantly, why would you want to be in L A. Okay, true that true that Omaha is uh, hey, is God's country. You guys are from Omaha, right? And you all met there and started the band in Omaha? Yeah. Cool, cool. Do you guys have, we got a, uh, about another minute and a half here before we go out. We're going to play one of the songs from your, uh, I, I'm not sure, it says uh, EP here. It's called Defrag the Earth. Can Correct. you tell us a little bit about that song? Uh, the song is uh, kind of a, a uh, like a prophecy. The lyrics are about the prophecy of uh, supposed uh, what will happen in the future here on Earth. Uh, there's lots of different takes that could happen about that. Um, it, it, it's kind of a uh, feel on post-humanism of uh, what happens after life of humans on Earth. What's your take on that? Or do we have to listen to the song to find out? I'd say the song sort of speaks for itself. And we're going to check that out. Um, I guess uh, the best thing that, that, we, that we could do right now is to, to let them know that, uh, that you guys are on the Facebook, uh, the MySpace, the Twitter, the uh, I, I assume you, know, you get like the Reverb Nation, everything. Just Army of In Between uh, is where they can pull you guys up. Um, and then and we're going to listen to one of your tracks right now. Uh, I can't thank you enough for coming on the show tonight, and uh, and I really hope that, uh, that you do get a, a, a date booked in Kansas City very very soon and at that time you take a little bit of time out of your day to come visit us uh, we're, we're right down the street from aftershock if you're back at aftershock if you're at one of the larger venues uh, we're just a couple of minutes away from there as well so um thank you very much for joining us tonight on the big dumb fun show